What's up, my homicidal homies? How are you? I've been doing pretty good. Um, today, we're going to keep it short, um, and we're going to talk about just how insanity really works in different states, in espe especially Florida. Um, that's what we're going to be talking about today, um, because the person is in Florida, and especially considering um, the fake insanity versus real insanity and how detectives and lawyers and prosecutors really go through and grit into how people are insane and how people aren't insane i'm not really okay i'm not really gonna talk much about this person's early life um he it doesn't connect to what he did um and the person i'm doing is nicholas cruz um he is known as the Parkland, Florida school shooter, um, very recent, it happened in 2018, um, so he arrived at the school and he opened fire on fresh, on a freshman building, killing 14 students and three staff members, 17 more people were injured, but the crazy thing about this was that he assembled his rifle in the stairwell of the school, it, and, he eventually dropped his weapon and fled by blending in with the other students as police were storming the building. He was then captured an hour later walking through a neighborhood. Shortly after he was arrested, he confessed and told him that told the police that the voices in his head did it. The FBI came forward the days after the shooting and saying that they received tips about Cruz. For example, in September of 2017, the FBI received an email from a person in Mississippi that indicated... Um, from Nicholas Cruz's page, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. A few months later, the FBI received another tip in January of 2018 from a caller who identified herself as a concerned friend of the Cruz family, and she was worried that he would shoot up a school. During his interviews following the days of the shooting, he would continue to go through his insanity plea, and he would attempt to get that insanity plea. For example, putting his head in his hands, he would say stoic, he would look up at the camera, he would laugh, he would pretend to shoot himself. Um, he was calm at some times, but at other times he again claimed he was suicidal and that he was possessed by a demon. The report alleges, however, that the murders was not a sp spontaneous act. While carrying out the shooting, Cruz allegedly brought along a cell phone with screenshots of the school's bell schedule. The cell phone also reportedly contained images of the locations of vital organs, attempting to more effectively slaughter his targets. Even after this evidence was proved, he still contained his insanity plea. On May 26, 2021, YouTuber JCS Criminal Psychology published the video, What Pretending to be Crazy Looks Like. The hour-long explainer of the tics, mannerisms, and tells that Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz exhibited during his interview. They are claiming that they are fake, and lots of psychologists and lots of lawyers and prosecutors would have to agree with that. He depicted insanity the absolute wrong way, which... Again, not really the wrong way because you don't want to try and be insane anyways, but he did it in the um, general what we think insane is, and it did not help him in the long run. Um, for example, Fred Haddad said, words can't even describe how insane you have to be to be found guilty by reason of insanity, especially in Florida. He is a veteran lawyer who defended many accused killers. And to be insane enough, he says, every doctor says it's almost impossible. Only an estimated 1 120th percent of 1 percent of felony cases that go to trial end with a finding that the defendant is not guilty by reason of insanity. Cruz faced new charges months after the shooting because he attacked a Broward County Sheriff's Office sergeant in jail. A sergeant assigned to guard Cruz told Cruz to stop dragging his sandals while walking around the day room. According to a complaint, Cruz stuck up his middle finger and then struck the sergeant. Then the sergeant became debilitated and, cr cr and Cruz continued to bash him in with his electronic weapon. In September, the... Um, <clears throat> In October, a last-minute court hearing was scheduled where Cruz pled guilty to the four counts against him for the guard attack. And then, on October 20, 
2021, Cruz pled guilty to the murder charges related to the Parkland shooting. The 34, 34 charges include murder, attempted murder, and those related to the possession and discharging of a weapon. Cruz gave a statement at the court and families of the victims after pleading guilty. His statement caused a bunch of confusion because he said that um, that he doesn't, while he respects the law, he does not think that the jury should be the ones deciding it and that the people of the family members of the victims should be the ones to decide his fate. And the trial was scheduled for the beginning of January, but was postponed until the beginning of April. The court will be seeking the death penalty, which I completely and utterly agree with. And even if the victims' families had decided to see if they could get into the decision of the jury, I believe with my whole heart that they would still try and seek the death penalty. So, I... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, 